Seven is a secret number in Judaism. Today we will talk about the number seven and explain the secrets surrounding the number seven in Judaism. The list is in no particular order. Here we go. GD created the world in seven days. There are seven days a week. Shabbat is the seventh day of the week, the day of rest in Judaism. There are seven heavens in the world. The walls of Jericho were surrounded for seven days by seven priests with seven trumpets. There are seven mitzvot of the Noak Law, the Noahide Covenant. Rosh Hashanah is the seventh month. Passover and Sukkot last seven days. On Shabbat, seven people go up to the reading of the Torah. There are seven prophetesses, Sarah, Miriam, Devorah, Hannah, Abigail, Huldah and Esther. There are seven relatives in whom we sit Shiva, father, mother, brother, sister, son, daughter, and husband, wife. There are seven days of mourning in Judaism. Seven people lived in the land of Canaan, the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, and the Girgashites. Each plague that Hashem God brought down on Egypt lasted for seven days. In Pharaoh's dream he saw seven cows and seven ears of corn. There are seven places within the earth, equals Eretz Adama Arka Giac and the Shear Tebel. There were seven candles in the temple menorah, lamp, for the seven days of the week as stated in Genesis. According to the sages, there are seven climates in the world. Only five of them are inhabited by mankind. And two climates are uninhabited. They are in the north and south. It is very cold in the north and very hot in the south. Jacob our forefather, worked for Rachel for seven years. There are seven species, Shiva at Hatminim, wheat, barley, grapevines, figs, pomegranates, olives, dates. There are seven names to Satan, the angel of death. There are seven sections in hell, Gyanom. There are seven sections in heaven. There are seven wedding days, Chuppa, in Judaism. There are seven wedding blessings. There are seven planets. There are seven heavens. There are seven seas, Arctic, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, North Pacific, South Pacific, Indian, and Southern Oceans. There are seven vertebrae in the neck that is, the cervical spine is comprised of seven cervical vertebrae. There are seven layers of skin, two outer and five inner. There are seven colors in the rainbow. There are seven openings in the human head. There are seven continents. There are seven notes in music. The sabbatical year, Shemitah, is the seventh year. The jubilee year, the fiftieth year, is after seven sabbatical years, Shemitahs. Counting of the Omer is done for seven weeks. There are seven days of purification, SHM Marat Nida. There are seven Ushpizan, guests, in Sukkot. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Aaron, Joseph and David. On Simchat Torah, seven Hakafot, circuits, that are made. The first verse in the Torah has seven words, Bereshit bara Hashem, at Hashomayim Viet Haaretz. Translation. In the beginning, GD created the heavens and the earth. And now, we will stop here, regarding the number seven. There are more secrets connected to the number seven. Secrets that are hidden from the world and cannot be told to everyone. But do you want to know why everything surrounds the number seven? Hashem assigned a certain amount of time for the existence of this world. Just as Hashem created the world in six days and rested on the seventh day. That's why we work six days and rest on the seventh day. Shabbat is the tikkun, correction, of this world. For Hashem 1000 years is like one day. And in the Hebrew calendar, we are nearing the year 6000. And 6000 years is the time Hashem assigned for this world to exist, as the world as we know it today. After that there will be a great change in the world. So why the number 7? Because 7 is the correction of the sin of Adam and Eve and the time allotted to this world. 7000 years.